Hello once again. So in this session, we'll talk about more about free text search. So let me just fire up Management Studio. And I'm going to connect to my AdventureWorks database. <clears throat> And let's just play around with a couple of tables. So I saw that there is a table called production dot description that has some text in it. So you know that might be a good table for us to play with. So just to give an overview. So whenever you search for certain strings in your you know um, in your queries, um, I mean using queries, you generally use the like keyword. Like for example, it will be something like where description <clears throat> like and then you give some you know kind of a string so i'm going to say something like um something like this and if i search this then you know it's just going to match the pattern and return you the appropriate string but now the problem is that you know we are limited to searches over here i mean what if we want um, all forms of strong or stronger or strongest all verbs or nouns everything to be searched or for instance you say that okay um, you know search for the keyword ie but also return me results which actually stands for internet explorer or internet explorer 5 or something like that so and and the third thing is that of course if you use this kind of a syntax your your query becomes very slow because it does a sort of character by character matching and then you know it matches the pattern and then returns the result for you so for that in sql server 2008 you have the full text search and uh, that's what we are going to look at right now so to even start using full text search you there are a couple of steps that you need to perform so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the database and then um, so just a second mm, yeah it's in a storage actually um, in the storage you see there is something called as a full text catalog you need to create a catalog let me just delete the existing one and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this and then it pops up a sort of wizard. And I'm going to just create a catalog out of this. I'm going to call this as demo catalog and then click on OK and it's going to create a catalog for us. Second, what I need to do is go to the table. That should be production dot product description. Yeah, this one. And you'll find something called as full text index. So first step is to define a full text index and you know the it, it's also a pretty much you know, self-explanatory wizard you just have to run through them and you know the first step is it's just identifying the unique index and then basically it's just identifying the text columns here it is description and uh, let me just click OK and I'm going to use our existing catalog click on next next and finish so this is done at this point <coughs> So next what I need to do is I need to populate this entire thing. So there is an option called start full population. So I need to just enable that and then once we are done with these three steps, we are good to go with our queries. So let me just fire a few queries to show you a couple of examples. So I'm going to say select um, star from this table product description table where free text I'm going to say search in all the columns for strong and sturdy let's see what this gives us so you know it's just going to look at all the columns for strong and sturdy and this should return a couple of more results so this is one way you can you know use it it's basically going to look for the keyword strong or any forms of it and then also the keyword sturdy um, the second thing that you can really use in your queries is something like this 
dryer contains and then search in all columns for the keyword strong so basically you know it just looks for you know the sentences which contains the keyword strong and then it returns the um, result to you and just to give you an overview these things are much faster and then you know even if your tables are pretty large you see that the returns are you know the results are returned pretty fast so let me just try out a couple of more things just to give you a more broad example i'm going to say search for strong or sturdy So as the, you know, the search query suggests, you're going to search either for strong or sturdy. Um, okay, and let me show you one more thing. So here what we are going to do is we are going to look for strong, which basically appears near the word sturdy which would typically be blank i mean we don't yeah so we could we could search something like strong near rims and you know it's going to return the sentences which has the keyword strong and which appear near rims so you could also you know just try out something like strong near durability let's try this out once so you see that you know there is a strong keyword and it appears nearby durability so you know you can just customize it however you want and then you know situations wherein you want to also search for all different forms of a particular word there are a couple of inbuilt keywords for it so i'm just going to use that search in all columns for forms of inflectional and then just one more thing for the keyword say strong let's try this so you know you, you search for strong it does it and stronger and so on and so forth um also basically you can um you know sort of create your own thesaurus your own um xml and then you know sort of um, uh, define things like ie can be expanded to internet explorer or you know ie5 can be expanded to internet explorer 5 so on, so on and so forth you can totally define your own xml structures as well so let me just quickly show you where you can find this xml structure i'm just going to say c drive program files oh, let's just see microsoft sql server in the sql and in ft data you'll find a couple of xml for each language and you know it's like things are commented out over here but you need to uncomment them and configure them as and when and then basically this is the thesaurus you can use to you know kind of search um, to actually um, configure your search or you know expansion how it should really happen like if someone searches for ie you expand it as internet explorer basically you're saying that internet explorer ie ie fi are all the same and then you know if these words exist and then return the same um, when one of these keywords is searched for so i would really recommend um, you know uh, referring either msdn or any other material to find a long list of keywords that you can use for full text searches thank you